Oh, this is very orange. Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I'm blonde. So today I thought I'd do a video talking about coping skills for flashbacks, which if you haven't followed me, you probably don't know, but if you do follow me, you will now. I'm diagnosed with PTSD. The first thing I do want to say though is your trauma is completely valid and people cope with trauma in different ways. Nobody has any right to invalidate your feelings or what you're going through. These are some coping skills that I use and then other people use. Say out loud things that are in the room you are in. So take this current setup. There's a ring light, my phone, my notebook. Staying physically what there is in the room. It's one thing that is a really useful coping skill and grounding techniques. It brings you back to the exact moment you are in. A coping skill that I use when I'm having flashbacks and I'm trying to break the cycle is to very simply count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten you know very simple coping skill really effective number three is to have a playlist i have got loads of playlists for different moods i have a playlist full of songs that are positive triggers for me positive triggers are something i'll cover in another video have a candle oh I have said this before in videos, I love playing with candles. The next one is build a distraction box and if you want to know more about what a distraction box is and what is in them, I'll link it on the air card up there, what's in mine. Also put some resources in the description down below of things that, that I'd recommend getting and useful stuff. Another thing, aromatherapy. I mentioned this earlier, I've got an aromatherapy machine where I've got lavender for it because lavender is one of the scents that I find really helpful and I, I, I love lavender, I live by it. Pets and nature, so if you're outside Outside, sit down on the grass enjoy the outdoor if you've got a pet there are so many studies to show that animals can be soothing and relaxing and a big thing i have to say in this is to know your triggers learning what your triggers are is a very rough road and a very hard path and it takes time don't expect too much from yourself and just take it as it comes but knowing what your triggers are is a way you can help prevent getting triggered in the future trauma represents itself in different forms for everybody and it's not right of any person to say that a person is coping with trauma wrong or that they're not coping with it how they would so it's not valid. Invalidating other people's experience is the single most dangerous thing you can do to anyone who is diagnosed with any form of trauma disorder. Everyone experiences trauma on different levels. Different things to different people are traumatising. There's no rules surrounding trauma. I need to do a video about a year ago talking about trauma and what it is and how it affects this was a video I wanted to make and I've had the idea to make it for a long time. I just never really knew what to say and I was thinking today and I've had this idea written on my phone for so long and I did come up with a, like a tick list sort of thing. That is all I have for this video and if you are new here maybe hit the subscribe button, it'd be really cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Just turn the light off.